We have debated the nature of the object since planetfall, but it wasn't until it began to slow and change course that we were certain it was a ship. A ship from Earth, launched long after we thought it was impossible. Its course clear and its arrival imminent. Celebrations swept the colony in anticipation of reunion with our brethren. All attempts to contact the vessel, however, were met with silence. They were either unable to respond or did not wish to. As we watched its approach, we prepared for any eventuality. Now, the wait is over. Welcome to Intrepid Dawn, the dawn of a new planet, apparently. This is, uh, yes, this is not your usual top Captain Tim Qatar, no. This is Peter, the guy who does the silly voice in front of some of the Solaris videos. Hello. Today, uh, well, we're gonna give a bit of a little trust pilot to Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth, the Rising Tide. Which uh, is an expansion for Civilization Beyond Earth. So, we uh, let us get right into the game, shall we? And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you like this whole new experiment or if you just like the channel, channel in general. So, here we go. I have actually already set up a game uh, for the faction for Intrepid Dawn so we can get right into playing a random planet and see where we end up. So, let's go. Oh, this is some nice art that they did for this, and there's all backstories on all the leaders, but of course we won't be playing any of them. So let's go, what do we have? Hmm. Looks like we have a bit of a fungal planet. Colossal fungus. Okay. That's all interesting. Now what do we have here? We have much more fungus. We have a lot of fungus. This uh, might be a bit of a moldy uh, or a mold breaker play through. Ah! Otherwise, there isn't that much good stuff around here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Xenomass. That's nice. Otherwise, yeah, nothing too special. I think we should land. Um, well, if we land here, we should be able to reach this and. If we get here, we get closer to this colossal fungus, but I don't know how useful that will be. On the flop side... Hmm. I think we'll just land straight dab in the middle here. I mean, we will be able to reach the fungus anyway. There's a hill next to some nice water. It's all good. Yes, let's do this. Land! Ooh! A lot of geothermal actually close by. That's a plus. Yeah, I think we picked right here. Alright, so, new planet. Fungus planet. Uh, well, we can use... I took these uh, soldiers to basically use as extra scouts, so... Oh, and we've immediately discovered a marvel. You've discovered a colossal alien fungus. Mountain site specified specimen is largely inaccessible due to the treacherous landscape surrounding and surrounding rocks. Hundreds of years of growth have disrupted the surrounding uh, terrain, creating hazardous badlands and covering the fungus in airborne debris. It's unlikely that a species this large could, would live in isolation. We should try and study it and any other specimens we find. So, well, this is a nice. 
neighbor thing. I never had a marvel this close before. Wow. Honestly, I never had this giant fungus marvel before in this game. It's cool. New stuff. So we need to rename this. Hmm. Well, maybe we should name it after a giant fungus, kind of. Since it is nearby. No, I think we should just go for New Dawn Rise. Maybe hopefully you guys can comment uh, in the... Well, comment in the comments. That makes sense. But yes, comment uh, down below. And uh, give some names for cities, towns, whatnot. New outpost. So I guess these guys will just travel down. Uh, let's begin production on... Hmm. I think an old earth relic here is good. Or should we go for more science? Honestly, the science might be a plus. So let's go for science! Science! So we can get pioneering quicker, which is very slow, but uh, yeah, we have no science, so this will quickly increase, I hope. Yeah, pioneering will be a good start, so we can start making other outposts, which is important. Claim this land before the others show up. Yes, others will be showing up. Oh, we have some alien bugs, but they're not too hostile yet. I've never seen humans yet, so kind of like all the wild, uh, wild animals have never seen a human. Oh, what's this? We have a bit of phyraxite. That's another. Both the xenomass and phyraxite are kind of uh, important strategic resources for a later game units. So it's important that we claim them. And a derelict settlement. If we had this guy down there, we could explore that. But he's exploring the south, so... Oh, it's a little island. A bunch of titanium off the coast, okay. That is semi-important. Let us give up. Wow, big mountain. Ah, and we have discovered, I think there's another one of those giant funguses. You found a portable reactor and a fuel source inside the resource pod. The resource pod. You are able to activate it despite some damage from the landing, earning 60 energy. Hooray! Oh, and a quest received, a gift from home. Our sponsor had the foresight to send resource pods ahead of our expedition to be waiting when we arrived. Parts of the large uh, research equipment instruments have been found in this part. The other pieces are probably found somewhere around here. Hmm. Maybe we're one of the Republic's earlier colonization efforts. If you look at the Stellaris game that Tim is running, there seems to be strong hints that, uh, yeah, there were secret colonization efforts being done before. Maybe this was one of them. Story there. Oh! Well, more people are being sent out. In the water. Huh. We have a giant fungus here. I don't know if we can do much so with that, but we do have a quest to find pieces of that, so... Maybe we need to run a uh, bit of an experiment upon them. Yes! Found an outpost. For our colony to prosper, we should consider expanding. We should focus our efforts on researching to create a new outpost. Well, we're already up to that, so... No need to tell me here, game. Ah, alright. Excavate giant fungus. I guess that's part of the quest? Let's read it so we don't... We don't just destroy the... Uh... Clean the giant fungus. Okay. I guess it's this then. Spores and halves. An exciting report from the field. Our colonists have discovered a second colossal fungus. This specimen appears to be younger than the first and more easily accessible. The team was able to reach its base and clear away some of the debris, receiving a beautiful bioluminescent interior. Sounds like a crazy scientist to me. 
Overnight, half field researchers observed an amazing transformation. Exposed once more to the air, the giant fungus has sprung back to life. Growing brightly, it's released uh, millions of spores into the surrounding countryside. Our biologists are studying these spores now, but have already requested more samples. We should continue to collect as many samples as we can. Okay, so we have a lot uh, of these things to collect, and apparently this was good for the fungus. I don't know if we should be happy about that. Let's see if we can unlock the power of this thing. We are in an excellent position to uh, use that set power. So, passing the turn, guess we'll grab this other sea pod. Oh, and I got an achievement. How nice. That's not uh, much related to anyone else, but it's nice for me. Ah. Inside the research pod, you found a cache of laboratory equipment from old Earth made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this weird planet. Equipment is eagerly welcomed by our scientists providing 19 research. Oh, and we got a string cremona, a musical instrument of exceptional quality. This priceless antique is considered the finest accomplishment of human craftsmanship. Besides its superior design, acoustic experts have yet to determine what gives the instrument such a unique tonal characteristic. This is really cool. I like, uh, like you collect these, uh, yeah, these um, artifacts, and when we are free of them, we can collect. We can connect. Uh, we can all yeah use them together to make a unique bonus so we have one hopefully we'll find a few more there's a lot of ruins and things here this is another one of those ruins we might need to send a scout up there as well a little bit of xeno stuff okay yeah we might need to make more scouts one more or something Oh. Well, at least they're all far away for now. Uh, let's... Well, might as well keep sending it forward. Oh, this is a good place for Xenomass. Oh, it's only a little island. I thought this would be cool, but you're not cool. Still, we might make a uh, water station around here. That could be good. We could grab this titanium and everything. Yeah. Possibilities. But first, we need pioneering. Pioneering. There is a lot of ruins here. This is a very mysterious planet. Of ancient ruins and giant fungi. And not, I mean, and not, I mean, I'm a big fat guy. Oh! Oh, you're a big boy. Makara, you look like a giant lobster that's going to eat me. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm about to be eaten, or the scout is. Oh yeah, it's going away. Let's not chase after it. Yeah, I don't think we want to uh, do much with uh, upsetting these fellows yet. What's this then? Another derelict settlement. I think we're on kind of an islandy planet. So there's a lot of small leash islands. Um, I think we should go for the old earth. Or should we go for another soldier? I think we should go for another scout. We've seen how many ruins there are around here. For more mysterious exploration of these mysterious ancient ruins. Maybe we're on Atlantis. Fungi Atlantis. But yeah, I was about to say, the fun guy is, giant fun guy is not a huge fat guy who likes to party. Well, maybe. Maybe he's hidden inside here. You just tick open, crack open the skull and inside is this dancing guy uh, jamming out to LFMAO or something. You've discovered Far Base 1. Far Base 1 provides one energy and one research to any city that's established a trade route with it. Only one city, uh, city per colony may trade with each station at a time. Okay. Where, where is that? Oh, up here. Okay. In the waters. Well, that's not directly in my 
expansion plans. Ah! Another third resource. Floatstone. That's the third strategic resource. Not much, though. I think we'll be very much using uh, mostly what's it called? The Xeno Mass. That seems to be the most interesting to us right now. Three sources. And one big one. That souls have to cross into the miasma. The miasma is this horrible poisonous fog that uh, will kill our units. Very slowly though, so we can yeah, we can suffer that little bit of damage there. Wow. Lots of barnacles. Barnacle by yar! Maybe we become pirates. I don't think there's options to be pirates. When we were playing uh the game this was kind of based on the original Alpha Centauri. There were pirates there. Yeah, the pirate faction who was very good at seaborne things. Yar. Alpha Centauri was really cool. That's a game you should definitely consider playing uh, sometime. There is this is as by gameplay and such is better, easier. Alpha Centauri had very interesting storytelling. This game also has a bit of tries to be a storyteller as Alpha Centauri, but uh, Alpha Centauri was really engaging somehow. It was more mysterious and kind of a bit darker, I guess. Uh, let us go explore this derelict settlement. Actually, Firebase 1 is a lot closer than I thought. Uh, let's make an old earth relic now. Get those culture points in. Expedition complete. Oh, I want to read that. Research has completed. We can now construct a mobile sheet to make an outpost. Yes. All right. Expedition complete. Your expedition thoroughly investigated the der derelict settlement. Question. Why is there a derelict settlement on planet we are kind of the first to, uh, you know, try to colonize? That's kind of creepy. Maybe mysterious. Are they time travelers for some faith for some from some failed future? It could be, could be. Anyways, we found no survivors, but it did re did find records of the last desperate days on this failed settlement. A psycho-historical analysis of their struggle has provided our people with insight on how to avoid their mistake, and they provide thirty culture. The universe is either in progress or in entropy. We choose progress. Indeed, very good choice. Ah, alien nests. I don't want to purge alien nests right now, but I do want to see what's on there. Seven phyraxite. So if we want phyraxite, oh, there's a lot of phyraxite here. This is a good place for phyraxite, I guess, and xenomass. I don't know what's uh, over here in the rest of the darkness, but that might be a good colonization spot. Anyway, so now um, these guys have expanded their expedition mod, so they have to get back to the city and recover that. And we can pick a virtue. And normally I'm generally going for these building ones, but we have a lot of uh, expedition stuff nearby, so maybe we should investigate in that. Um, and 30 research from finishing expeditions. There they are. These virtues are a bit limited. Eventually we also need to pick up might. But uh, for now I don't want to. We are in no state to be picking any fights with anyone. Even the local alien wildlife. They will fucking eat us up. So... It will be um, um, mm, 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 fine cuisine, exotic. We will be very exotic. I wonder if aliens land if we will consider eating them. That's an interesting thought. I honestly think we should... Well, we don't have that many buildings yet. Hmm. I generally like to go down industry. Because... I like both saving uh, cre uh, money, or energy credits in this case. We don't have that much yet. 
You know what? No, I think we'll go for the foresight, for the expeditions. Research is always good. And hopefully we can uh, get this one afterwards. Yeah. Oh, and this one was going to be very nice if we want more virtues. Yes, let's go down the knowledge path. Wait, we can pick another straight away. Oh, that's nice. Hooray, we have the thing right away. Guess we got a solid chunk of culture. So, uh, we have a lot of Xenomass nearby. And a fair bit of Miasma. So, I'm figuring we should go towards uh, half that Xenomass. So, we should go towards the alien scientists. For which we'll first need ecology. And ecology is actually good. Because it allows us to clear that poison mist stuff. Alright. Alright, these aliens are starting to piss me off now. They're blocking my path. Oh, wait. Let's grab this. Oh, okay. All the pieces of the instruments are accounted for. Our scientists will make good use from the instruments sent from Earth. Oh, we've recovered uh, a basic satellite. Free solar collectors now ready to launch. An artifact discovered. A silver pond navigational gyroscope. Gy gyroscope. A navigational instrument used to locate spacecraft positions relative to Earth. With the advent of extraplanetary space ventures, the demand for such instrumentation used to locate Earth became increasingly important to astronauts and cosmonauts. This invention from the Silver Pond Company allowed space travelers to rest a bit easier, knowing that Earth was 90% guaranteed to be that direction. Alright, so we have a second artifact. Hopefully we'll find a third and we can complete the set. Now we can launch the satellite to gain a bit more energy credits per turn. Yeah, this should increase the income of all these tiles. Nice. You're on your way here then, okay. Yeah, this is might be a very good spot. I will probably have to clear out all these aliens. Let's go over here. Hopefully they don't get angry or else they'll slaughter our soldiers at this point. As I said, om nom nom fine alien cuisine. Blood bank. Since the opening of our clinic, the populace has been split in an, uh, in an ideological divide. Securing and improving our new territory has put a great strain on both military and civil workforces. Both contend that the hazards they face should be offset by the state-sponsored healthcare. Our fledgling colony does not have the resources to do both. Which then is the greater need of aid? So this makes our cities tougher. This gives more health. Honestly, I'm hoping our city will never often come under attack, so definitely we'll go for uh, civil workers. Defense and security is vital, but our colony must invest in infrastructure if we truly want to thrive. Our civil workforce are the engine that powers the growth of our economy. Providing them with care is a small price to pay to safeguard that progress. Indeed, progress marching every forward and all that. I am very tempted to perch that nest, but that'll, as I said, get us killed right away. Now, let's be uh, peaceful to the stupid animals. Right, explore further. Another pot. Hopefully that'll have another old earth relic, which would... Uh, Allow us to finally complete that set. Let's look at this one as well. Uh, it has a reactor, some, some more energy. Neat. No relic though. That's a shame. Should we make a... I prefer to usually buy colors, because while you make a colors, it's a city, but... 
We are far off from purchasing one, I think. Let me uh, have a bit of a look. Purchase. Yeah, 390. That'll be quite a while off. A lot longer than nine turns, I can guarantee that. So maybe we should just make one. Or trade post. I mean, I wouldn't mind trading with uh, far base one. Actually, let's do that. Let's make a trade post. We first want to discover a nice site for our new colonies. Another reactor. All right, that might hurry up the process a little bit. Big source of floatstone here. Yeah, I'm tempted to make something around here, maybe a water base of some kind. Chitin. Ugh. Or Resolin. Well, apparently we um, can eat it, so... Eat it all! We are the Extraplanetary Culinary Division. We come in peace and in hunger. Maybe that's what uh, the Tyranids in 40k are. They are the... Uh, the culinary vanguard of a great uh, empire. Trying to discover the best meals in the galaxy. An extra galactic galaxy, even. Your expedition thoroughly investigated the Derek Sandmans. It has no survivors, but we've already read this, so 30 culture. When Coyote learned he was the only one of his kind on the new planet, his howl echoed through the rifts and off the distant hills. How sad, I guess. As Vivarium and Ultrasonic Fences. So you are recovered. I suppose you can. Uh, with some more xenomass. That's nice. And you need to recover the expedition module. So you and heal up, because that bit of work in Yasma did a real number on you. So we have this. What's this then? Each tile generates more culture for every population. Net positive health. I think these are both. I think we should go down this to get this one quickly. So that'll save us a lot of culture over time. So we have ecology. We could go straight to the alien sciences. Or we could go with the geophysics and actually use those geothermal wells. That is kind of tempting. I think we should go down this. I mean, those resources will stay here for a while. And another landing far away once more. Lovely. Stay far away. This is our island, scrubs. After the water we go. Quest decision. Commercial enterprises. Our newly constructed memorial to Earth, while important to the people, is expensive to maintain. A privately held corporation has quietly approached us about buying the record with the insurance that they will keep it accessible for the public. For the most part. Yeah, I don't like that for the most part. And honestly, we're not praying for minerals, so I'd rather have more culture. Better. Pay for better. Yes, remembering our past is vital to the collective psyche of our people. Allowing it to remain completely public and free will ensure the growth of our culture. And the superiority of our culture. Now march, you fools. It's lovely. I mean, you have this giant fungus next door. It's cool. Yeah, we have a lot of Xenomass around here. We probably won't be able to harvest that one anytime soon. It's far, far away from our city. A 
But yeah, I think we should, uh, when we get the chance, oh, we might get a chance soon to invest in a water city. Going somewhere around here. This seems like a very good spot. Uh, you go and heal up before you go out again. There's some shrimp dolphins there. That sounds that sounds tasty. Shrimp dolphins. Mm. We are on a colony bench, aren't we? Uh, more pods. Alright, um, we are close to buying a colony, so I think we should not invest in that. A trade convoy is good, though. Let's start trading with Firebase 1. It's fairly safe. Route 2. So. Mm-hmm. Fine, you can be there. Grab this. Artifact, 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 artifact. No, oh, no artifact. We would like those free artifact bonuses. They are fun and good, generally. Okay, we'll need to start discovering this as well. Choose a station to charter. Quest decision. Several new ventures wish to establish operation near our territory. I don't like them uh, doing anything near our territory. They provide different services that may be useful to us. One provides food and the other provides a lot of... Uh, is a mining station. Provides a lot of production. I don't think we need extra food, so let's get some mining. Well, this is in the middle of a bloody desert. I was not going to settle there, so... Good on you, probably digging down in these crevasses. Might trade with them as well, if we can. But first we'll probably go for Far Station 1. So this is most of this island explored a bit. The soldiers should go up there. You're healed, excellent. Well, let's go for those ruins. And you, let's circle around down towards here. That'll be good. And a lot of barnacles. Yeah, barnacle may be a real place. With the depot now built, we've been able to amass an adequate surplus of resources. The question is, what do we do with these abundance of goods? Do we send them to our factors or allow the merchant freedom to trade with them? So, in general, I really like promoting just, like, letting the building do what it's it's supposed to do and be better at it. So, a lot of trade. But I also really, really, really like production. So, let's send it to production. If we are to grow in strength, then literal growth is required. We shall put the excess resource into our production so that we may reach this for the future. Yes, because then even cities that uh, don't focus on trade will be able to benefit from those trade posts. Oh! Oh, I do not like that! Ooh. I don't know who those people are, but I'm already angry at them. Alright. New development plans. We might need to go settle here to just, just to deny these fuckers the stuff. Maybe somewhere here or something. Then we can grab this uh, floatstone from under them. Oh, that reminds me. I do need to purchase that colonist. Let's do that straight away. Hopefully the aliens won't be too pissed off. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I... I... Well... Yeah, we can let this one go, because if I settle somewhere here, it will be much better for... 
resources and stuff, because, yeah, there's a lot here, wow. I'm tempted to go with this spot, let's see, it's, it always go, reaches out three uh, squares maximum, so it could reach this, and then this. Yes, that's good, it should reach all of that. Um, it uh, could then, it wouldn't reach this one, so we would miss two Xeno mass. Otherwise, it'll grab this. Yeah, I think this square is solid. Let us send our colonists there. Next turn! And then we'll give him a little bit of room to expand, I suppose. Uh, yeah, go over there, and I'm going to actually bring the soldiers back to secure that zone. At least we have the giant strange mushroom, ha! Ah. Wow, there's a lot of people landing here. Invaders! I was here first! I put my flag in the ground here! Your eyes only. A mysterious encrypted transmission has received, has been received from an unknown origin. After some considerable effort, it has been decoded. The clear, clear, read, the clear text reads: The Sulfur Cell requires infrastructure for covert operations. Should you choose to accept, you will be rewarded in time. Research computing. Well, that's bound to happen eventually. I wonder if this up there is needed to expand. All right, we can establish a trade route. Let's start, oh, we can't trade. We need to explore towards far base one. Okay, mining then. Hmm, I see. I see into the darkness quite literally, aha. Uh -huh. All right, we have more culture. We'll take this one straight away. It'll make future investments cheaper. Uh, we can make another... Tr I'm almost tempted to make another one of these, but... No, I think at this point a worker will be a good idea. It's not actually using all this land. So I also need to start discovering a way up there. Guess that's where you go. I think the aliens are already a little bit upset. That's troubling. Let's actually go down here. Hopefully the alien will move as I kind of want to settle there, you alien scum! See those? Sputnik, Slavenska Federacja pozdrawiaje tibia. Oh, I don't like these people. They have a nice symbol, but I don't like them. Hello, I'm General Kozlov Medium of Slavic Federation. They have taken one of my ruins. I don't like that. Very upsetting, that. Thank you, alien scum. A, recent, a collection of goods and luxuries from old earth. Your people never thought they would see you again. They rally and refocus your people, giving 15 culture. Hey, and we got the last artifact. A thoughtful chess set. A network connected motorized chess set. Based on this modernized board will synchronize their movement with a competitor board from miles away. Move a piece and your opponents will witness the same change. 
The thoughtful chess set incorporated all the joys of a tactile game with the ease of use of portability of the digital version. So now we have three things. Let's see what we can get for them. So we have a Stradivarius kind of thing, a nice uh, chess piece, and this navigator thing, which would get us Frontier Stadiums. Building unlocked. 10 defense and military units start with a free promotion. I have seen better, but it's not bad. This lavish arena harkens back to the immense, to the immense sports stadiums that were erected on Earth. Surviving records show that these buildings, occupied by thousands of spectators cheering on athletes in mock combat. A revitalized interest in earthly pastime has driven savvy investors to support new forms of athletic entertainment. I wish there was more mock combat in sports I'd watch more. Sounds cool. Can you settle yet? No. Yeah, you should just here. I should just here. It's way better. Guess we'll just dig up this one then. Bloody Slavic Federation. That's gonna be war, I tell you. We are not gonna be nice neighbors. Not after that little stunt, no. So let's settle here. The outpost has been constructed and soon grown into a full city. It's important to protect our newly outposts so they're vulnerable to attack. So we get a free soldier out of this. That's nice. Alright then. Let's actually go down here. And you continue your journey towards far base one. So this will start developing. Oh really, our relationship is in jeopardy. Well, I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because he's picking out my ruins. Hmm. So we could make a road to this place, maybe. I think that might be a good idea. Just start with that. Connect our new empire. So we can make one of those frontier stadiums. Or a vivarium. Or a ultrasonic fence, but I have not seen much aliens around here, so I'm not too bummed by that. Or I think we should just make another colonist. Basically, maybe see if we can try and lock this uh, prick into this little corner. Though I would fear that uh, they will just start going onto the sea then instead. Civilian observatories. Okay, I guess that's good. Yeah, I would love to clear out all these alien nests, but we don't have the strength for that right now. So, I guess we'll go up. Once we have our first upgrade to our soldier unit, we might be able to start clearing those nests. Uh, well... Are you going here? Good. More culture. We are being very good on culture. So what should we uh, go for? Yeah, I think if we're going to make another colonist, we might go straight for this one. The meme web. Oh, and we have a bonus to knowledge, which gives us more culture. We're gonna be a cultural powerhouse. Your expedition team has found a cavernous labyrinth beneath the uh, progenitor ruins. While plumbing the depths, they found a few dozen of interactive devices made of glowing stone that dissolved a few minutes after being touched. The rest of the maze was silent and empty. The knowledge of the team gained from the devices illuminates parts of distant technology called bioengineering. Our scientists acquire preliminary research on it. 
Oh, and we have a strange object. That's an artifact. That's good. I have no idea what it will do. Let's blow it up. That'll be something good to do. Ugh. Guess we should go make new get new expedition modules. <laughs> Good boy, how do you imagine this planet smells? It's gotta be awful. I mean, mold is not a pleasant, uh, pleasant smell. Though maybe this alien mold in it is pleasant. Once again, the intergalactic culinary uh, team strikes this time for perfume tips. Alrighty then, next. We are moving along quite well. Alright, so... Honestly, there's not too much up there. I am tempted to just go down to that water spot we found. So honestly, yes, we could block them off right here. But is that worth a city? I mean, there's not all that. There's a little bit of Fraxite, I suppose. That's okay. Basalt, and otherwise it's gold and a bit of petrol. Hmm. On the other side, over here. Yeah, we have a ton of floatstone and a ton of xenomass. Titanium, petrol. I think this will be just way better to develop here. And it's nice to have a water city going. Early, because they require a bit more time to develop. So, yes, I think I will go around. Let's see. Um, gonna be traveling, so I think we'll just settle it here. And then travel downwards towards the all that float stone. These water cities work a little bit differently, as we will see once we settled uh, there. So over here we'll build, uh, I think it's time to build a Vivarium now that we have at least one builder. Yeah, I look forward when we have the strength to get rid of those aliens there. New Babylon. New Babylon for like one energy and one culture from any city that trades with it. Okay, I suppose it's nice. Well, I think this is a good uh, point to stop. We uh, are developing our first colony over here. We have some unpleasant neighbors at Krabrost. And yeah, hopefully we'll get our feet wet into the water. Ah. So, how did you enjoy this show? Do you want me to do things differently? Do you want me to do this at all? Or are you like, no, go away. We only want him. Please, Mr. Catan, save us from this lunatic. So let me know, and also, yeah, let me know if you like this, let me know names for what I should call this uh, new outpost. Probably not Citadella. Anyways, this is my uh, little preliminary of uh, Civilization Beyond Earth, the New Dawn Colonization Initiative. I hope you have a nice day and a good New Dawn. Good day.